Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about the functions and deficiency manifestations of vitamin D. So, in first, we'll discuss about the functions. So, we are all aware. Okay, in our previous video, we said that vitamin D has been considered as a hormone rather than a vitamin. So, the major proof that vitamin D as a hormone, so it plays an essential role as a hormone in the regulation of calcium and phosphorus metabolism. So how it is playing major role in calcium and phosphorus metabolism. So steroid hormone, okay, so like it's a steroid in nature. So when vitamin D is go and binds to the cell and it will go through into the cell by receptor protein complex and reaches to the nucleus and it stimulates the particular part of the DNA okay by binding to the DNA by like hormone receptor complex and synthesizes mRNA. So in here mRNA will be useful in synthesis of proteins. So how this vitamin D stimulating DNA and helping calcium phosphorus metabolism. So when it goes and binds to the DNA it produces mRNA and this mRNA directs to synthesize which proteins calcium binding proteins. CABP. Calcium binding proteins plays major role in absorption and reabsorption of calcium from intestine and kidney. Okay. So this way it will enhance the calcium absorption from intestine and reabsorption from kidney. Okay. This way plasma membrane or target cell this vitamin D is making its function. So vitamin D whenever like vitamin A comes into your mind you should think that vitamin A helps in healthy vision. Same way whenever you are talking about vitamin D you should keep in mind that vitamin D maintains your bone metabolism. Okay that means bones are made up of calcium. So indirectly vitamin D is useful in maintaining calcium homeostasis. Okay calcium homeostasis. It maintains your calcium levels. Okay, by working on three different organs. Okay, this vitamin D works at three different organs and keeps your calcium levels stable. So, where and all, which organs it works? It works at intestinal level. Okay, it works in the bone and it works on the kidney. So, these are the three different organs where vitamin D acts on. So, first thing like at the intestine. Okay, action of calcitriol on intestine. So it increases if in case if your blood calcium levels are less. So to bring back to normal levels, okay, this vitamin acts on intestine to increase calcium and phosphorus concentration. It increases the synthesis of calcium binding proteins. So how it will go to intestinal cells and acting at the DNA, it uh, promotes, provokes the DNA to synthesize more R mRNA to which synthesizes calcium binding protein. So more calcium binding proteins, more calcium uh, uptake by intestinal cells. So this way it uh, increases absorption of calcium and phosphorus at intestine and restores to calcium levels to normal. And action of calcitriol on bone. Okay, so it is believed that calcitriol has both anabolic and catabolic based on the situation. Okay, it promotes the mineralization of bone. If you are having excess of calcium levels in the circulation it uh, promotes mineralization of bone that means it uh, activates the osteoclast activity so that more calcium will be taken by the bones and more mineralization has been taken place but when your calcium levels are low so what it will do it acts along with the pth and stimulates pth is nothing but parathyroid hormone and it stimulates the mobilization of calcium because your blood calciums are less because calcium function in our body is not only in making bones and teeth it do have other functions. Calcium is a what to say main mineral for blood clotting you require, for uh, action of several hormones you require, for calcium gated channels at the membrane level you require. So blood calcium levels apart from making bone and teeth you require this for other functions. Okay. So when your blood calcium or levels are low, this D3 that means calcitriol along with parathyroid hormone stimulates calcium from bone to get back to the blood okay and though this is a serious condition it shouldn't happen okay but it's a normal only but in excess it has got other side effects and third one action of calcitriol and kidneys so at intestinal level it promoting the absorption so what is the main function of kidney along with the excretion it should have other, other function that is reabsorption of important substances it shouldn't allow 
important substances simply to excrete from the body. It should, because calcium is very, very important to us. So it should be reabsorbed. It shouldn't simply excrete in the urine. So calcitriol, vitamin D promotes or increases reabsorption of calcium and phosphorus from kidney and decreases excretion of calcium and phosphorus. So this way it raises the blood calcium level. So vitamin D is acting at three different levels and promoting or uh, restoring blood calcium level. So this way calcium homeostasis okay are also maintained by vitamin D. One vitamin D is one of the factor which maintains the calcium. That's all about the functions of vitamin D. Thank you.